right eye is going to sit here. Um, this is going to be the wire station. So you're going to find a couple things at your table. You're going to find some pliers. Uh, some are going to look a little bit different. Um, the ones that have the long, skinny um, tips, these are called needle nose pliers. These pliers here are for um, more heavy duty stuff, curving. You can see how they have like a curved, um, curved edge. And then your clippers. Okay, these are how you're going to cut the wire. And some of the needle nose pliers, you'll also see they have a clipper area down here. So you could clip from there too. Okay. We're going to be using 20 gauge wire. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's the copper wire, or the silver, or the gold. It's all the same. It's all 20 gauge. The gauge has to do with how thick or thin the wire is. Um, first, we're going, I'm going to show you how to make jump rings. A jump ring is very simple. It's making this very circular ring so that you can make connections if you're interested in making wire jewelry. And then I'm also going to show you how to make a uh, figure eight connector. And then I'm going to link another video on how to make a clasp. It's a little bit more intense, but if you really get into jewelry making or you want to use jewelry making along with ceramic beads or something, um, it'll show you how to make a clasp as well. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is actually cut a piece of wire. Okay. So to make the jump rings, you'll cut a piece of wire, I don't know, maybe about three inches or so. And then you're going to need to find something to wrap around the wire. Um, anything circular really will work. Even a pencil would work fine. In your basket, I'll, I have some dowel rods. I also have, uh, I think this is like an old, um, one of those glow bracelets that I, my kids had for Halloween. Works fine too. Okay, The wrapping has to do with how uh, big or small you want your jump rings to be. So a smaller circular form will make smaller jump rings, whereas something like this dowel rod will make much wider jump rings. Okay, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you with the dowel rod, since for time's sake. Okay, and what you're going to do is very simple. You're going to take your your hands and your wire, and you're going to wrap your wire around your form. Okay, to create almost like a spring, just like so. And you really want to wrap that nice and tight around there so because we're trying to form circles here. Okay? Once you've done that, you can take it off and you'll see you have something that looks like a spring. Mm -hmm. okay? And that is where your cutters come in handy. Okay? Get your cutters. Make sure they're the cutters. The needle nose pliers are not going to cut. Okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to find where your, um, where your ring kind of starts to overlap. Okay? And then you're going to cut. And now I have something that is a perfect, um, perfect circle for a jump ring. Okay. Again, can I, jump rings are made to be connectors. So what I would do here to connect my jump ring. Okay. This is how you open up a jump ring. You pull them apart. Okay. And then push back together. You never open a jump ring by pulling it apart. Because when you try to put it back together and it's like this, you're never going to get that perfect circle again. Okay, So that's why you always want to open it by bending the sides. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put, make another one. Okay, you can make as many as you can make from that one coil. Okay. Okay. And you can see when you're done, you have your, you have your jump rings open them. There's another one. And it's basically how you create a chain. Okay. So use your needle nose pliers to secure them together. Needle nose pliers to secure them together. And then your jump rings can create as many loops as you want. Okay, so that is how you create a basic jump ring. Yes, you can buy them in the store. But this allows you to create the exact size that you want from the exact wire that you want with as many loops as you want. Okay. Plus it's cheaper and you should learn how to make them. Okay. Next video, I'm going to show you how to make a figure eight connector. Make figure eight connector. 
again, you need a piece of wire, 20 gauge. You're gonna grab the needle nose pliers. Okay. Uh, what you're gonna do is the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to make what is called a P-loop. Okay, so you're gonna hold the wire right at the end, and this time you're gonna clasp the wire down towards the base, so the thicker part of the, um, of the needle nose pliers, and you're simply going to twist until the wire comes around and meets. Okay, let that go, and you can see I have something that looks like the letter P, hence why it's called a P-loop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and insert my uh, P-loop back into my needle nose pliers, this time on the edge, on like the back one, so if you're looking at it here, this one is closest to the camera, this one is closest to me. So you're going to loop it around the one closest to you, and then you're going to loop back around, okay? And it's going to create something that looks like a figure eight. Okay. Now when you take it off, you're gonna see that figure eight looking thing. Okay. You're going to go ahead and cut. And this just acts as another type of connector. Okay. So you can connect um, jump rings with this. You can connect figure eight loops all together. There's lots and lots of different things that you can do with wire jewelry if you go out and look on the internet um, I'm going to link another video that I did not make about making clasps. Uh, it's a little bit more complex, but if jewelry making with wire is something you're going to be interested in for this project, it's something you're going to have to take the initiative to go out and watch. This is the very basics. The very basics is making a, a jump ring and making a figure eight connector. Okay, if we're going to get a little bit more in depth in the process, then you're going to need to go ahead and take it upon yourself to watch a few more tutorials, okay? And there you can see the, the nice little figure eight connector. And then you can take your jump rings that we made from the last video. Woo! And you can loop those together. Boom. Now you can make tons and tons of chains of, of loop rings and figure eight connectors.